me get rid of this, open up that. Okay, got him. 35, are we looking at the right car? Oh, 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 that was close. Okay, cool. Thank you. Hey, uh, if you guys are just tuning in here on YouTube, this is a this is an interesting one for sure. This is going to be an Audi. That, it, clearly, it's running from uh, law enforcement. Is it a pursuit? Well, there's nobody behind it right now, and that's probably because of the speeds that it's going and it's Sher LA Sheriff's Department. This started down in Orange County. Apparently, it was some sort of uh, felony stop. That meaning, you know, it was a high-profile stop. They pulled the vehicle over. Driver got out, got into custody. And then the passenger jumped out and took over the car. Now, uh, it's been going pretty much on the freeways for quite a long time. Uh, they had a couple of different uh, agencies, uh, helicopters up above it following it. I have a feeling this car is going someplace, as in, as, as I'm saying, it has got a destination. Like, we're going to go into a neighborhood here. It's going to pull into a driveway. Somebody's going to get out and run. And the only reason I say that is because of the way this vehicle has been driving. Uh, the uh, helicopter that's over it right now is going to be the sheriff's helicopter we're definitely uh, well you can see it we're in the city of compton right there but maybe i'm wrong i've been wrong in the past i'll be wrong right now uh, it looks like we got out of that neighborhood and it's continuing now as far as the sheriff's department you know their policies with pursuits are interesting they really lean towards and it's a good thing it's a good thing they really lean towards uh public safety so and off officer safety so or deputy safety as it would be because they're the sheriff's department but basically they will kind of stay away from uh, these these chases especially on the ground the helicopter above definitely keeping an eye on it making those calls as are we they are a lot of erratic driving but you know it's an audi suv so it's going to be able to you know, keep up with whatever's going on. Looks like we're making our way back over towards freeways again. We've seen a lot of these where they go underneath these uh, overpasses and do that little rope-a-dope where they kind of park, meet somebody. Look at that, making a little U-turn, coming back towards us. We're going to see where they pop out. I'm going to keep an eye on it. There we go. Hello. Uh -huh. Thought you could have fooled me. Probably would have in the olden days. Anyhow, it's continuing on. You can see it right there. I don't have to call out the streets because we can see it is on Central. Central, a major street out here, making our way back into another neighborhood. You got to wonder, though. You know, the, a lot of these uh, pursuit drivers, they, 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 did they get clever? I don't really know. But we do see a lot of the great shot of the sheriff's ship. Uh, we do see a lot of these where they will make phone calls, make plans, as it would be. Uh, how am I going to get out of this? I'm going to text my friends. I'm going to call my friends. Making these uh, roundabouts like this, you know, back out on the central, right? Yeah, we're back out on the central. You know, when you see something like that, it kind of it gives the uh, deputies an opportunity to get in place. And just because these deputies are not directly right behind it, except for that one right there, uh, that doesn't mean that they're not in the area. When these things come to a stop, you'll see these all of a sudden just, you know, officers d d just appear out of nowhere. And that's because they are listening. They are watching. They are not keeping, you know, they might not be listening to us per se, but they are definitely hearing what we are, are talking about, uh, what, the, what the sheriffship is talking about. So they know these neighborhoods. These are their patrols. These are their beats. And they're going to stay in the area. You can see that car continuing back into one of these Compton neighborhoods out here. I'm just kind of, oh, another great shot of the uh, sheriff's helicopter. Uh, oh, do, 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 do. See, you just don't want to see something like that. You just, not at all. Uh, the speed's really starting to pick back up again. It's kind of funny because uh, it whoop, went right by a uh, deputy. I, the the, uh, <laughs> the sheriff's ship making the calls on this is, are keeping these numbers relatively low. Uh, I don't I don't know. Maybe we need calibration. Maybe we need something here. But uh, I'm kind of wondering. I'm going to do a little camera magic and see if it changes anything up. It hasn't. It really hasn't. We're still we're still in the triple digits on a major street out here. And, 
you can see coming through. Uh, oh, 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 oh. If that would have been a red light, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what would have happened right there with me. Well, hopefully nothing with them. Kind of getting boxed in. We've seen a couple of these. Oh, oh, that's not good for your alignment. A uh, back uh, on the wrong side of the road, and you know these are the ones that just you just gotta wonder. It's like you're driving along, doing what you need to do, and then you see this car going 100 miles an hour coming at you. Ugh, not not a good scene at all. Yep, okay, slowing down, went through a railroad. That was uh, something, in, that was a first for me. Uh, that was definitely a first. Keeping on, keeping on. Yes, sir. Okay, cool, thank you. Keeping on here, making these moves and uh, back onto these very small residential streets out here. And again, those speeds not slowing down, 70 miles an hour. And I, I yeah, I, I, I'm speechless. I, this is not pretend for me. If you have some people make this, say, oh, you know, being dramatic, I am not. When we're doing 100 miles an hour on side streets, that there's nothing, you can't say anything. You just got to hope nothing happens. Yeah, making our way, we're continuing on. Still about 70 miles an hour right now. We're getting into a more residential area. You can see it right there. We just, if you, if you blinked, you missed it. Uh, th that would happen to be the sheriff's department right there. That's what we just went by, just kind of putting that out there. Another uh, underpass, at least he came back out. I believe that's going to be Imperial. I do know this neighborhood. And uh, continuing on, we're going to be heading westbound now on Imperial. Uh, still, same type of erratic driving, wrong side of the road, passing uh, a lot of stopped vehicles. A, a, blending into traffic, looks like we're going to get getting onto the 105. This is uh, personally just between you and I and the fence post and whoever else might be listening. I do not like this because we're getting onto the 105 freeway. This is going to get us into LAX's airspace, and this is going to make it difficult for us to track it. Uh, hopefully, he picks up the 110, goes north or southbound, but right now you can see a lot of traffic on that 105 freeway, making our way westbound, slowing down, but it's not going to get any better. The traffic is going to be tough out here. We still have that opportunity to get on the 110 freeway. Hopefully that's going to be his choice because the closer we get to LAX, the more the chances are we are going to be able to, uh, we will not be able to uh, keep following it. Uh, I, I'm getting information that we are live on, on, on uh, YouTube. We're live on YouTube. Imagine that, guys. Imagine that. I wish I could read along with you because this is one of those pursuits that as long as they're on the freeway, I probably could have, an, have a free hand here to kind of check out what's going on. Let me see if I got a notification that we are live on YouTube because uh, that would be great, but I don't. Let me see if I can open up the YouTube while I'm doing this just to get an idea what you guys are interested in besides the chase itself. Uh, you can see where uh, still the speeds have slowed down because there's a lot of traffic. Imagine that, traffic in Los Angeles. I know, I know. It wants me to renew something there. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go. We're live on YouTube. I don't know if the... Uh, the comments are disabled or something because I got I got no comments, no comments. Oh, that's a shame. At any rate, we're continuing on right now. Uh, this is LA traffic. If you guys are not in in LA, you're gonna kind of go, yeah. Well, you know, why isn't this guy speeding up? What's going on here? Must be a busy day. No, this is every day out here. And if you are out here, you're probably doing. How's he making this great time on the 105 at this time of the afternoon, uh, or, or you know, well, this afternoon, early afternoon. Uh, keeping on there, got into a little bit of an opening spot. I'm not going to lose them, I promise. I just kind of want to figure out where we are. Yeah, you can see it right there. You're going to have that choice uh, of the uh, 110 freeway. So we're going to see where he goes. It's interesting how people kind of get out of out of your way when you're making these moves like that. But getting into a lot of traffic, continuing on out here. And uh, it's just going to get worse. It's just going to get worse as we get past the 110. Hopefully he decides to take the 110. Looks like we're going to stay on the uh, 105 West, which is uh, not good news for all our pursuit watchers and myself. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Good, good move there. Good, good move. Good move. All right. Looks like we are taking the 110. And uh, which way is going to be the big question right now? Looks like we're going to pick up northbound. Getting into the downtown area, that might work as well. But uh, 
I'm not sure if he's going to stay on the freeways. As long as we're in that LAX area, this is kind of one of those interesting things. If you're not from around here, uh, you know, the helicopter, we don't have free range. We are not allowed just to go and do what we want, go where we want. Uh, we did in the old days, but uh, things have changed. And now we are technically in the LAX's airspace. So we can follow this vehicle uh, northbound on the 110. I'm sure Jeff is making calls right now. And LAX is probably busy, and they don't want to talk to us. And they're going to say, oh, there's police activity, and blah, 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 blah. Hopefully we won't lose them. We're going to keep the best eye as we can on them. We do have a lot of good toys, even though... Uh, you know, the operator, me, might uh, not be that uh, up on things. But uh, we're going to keep an eye on him the best we can. We're making our way northbound on the 110 freeway, a lot of traffic. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get into the rotation and be able to follow him on that uh, northbound 110. Had a bit, oh, yeah, just kind of bump into that uh, tanker truck right there. That's a good deal. I'm not sure what's holding us, but I can have a feeling it's going to be the LAX tower. Uh, I want to talk to Jeff, but I'm sure he's busy. Jeff being my pilot today, it's not just an imaginary friend of mine. Um, but you can see it right there, and as long as we can keep eyes on him, we're going to keep eyes on him. Hopefully up. It looks like, uh, it looks like the media has been allowed to uh, head in. We're going to try to catch up there in a minute or two. We were in a rotation, as it would be. And uh, making his way there on the side, of, on, the, on the emergency lane. Hopefully he doesn't get off on Manchester. I have a feeling he will. Uh, I don't know where that uh, CHP motorcyclist is, uh, motorcycle is going to go to help pull him over. Maybe uh, just command presence. Maybe that's all he needed. Maybe he just needed to see some flashing lights to say, hey, uh, we're chasing you. Uh, so at any rate, we're keeping on, keeping on. And it looks like we're going to be getting off at Manchester, which is not good news for us following this uh, pursuit in the helicopter, losing him behind that sound wall, doing what we can. But he has to pop out right there, so we'll keep an eye over there. No, that is not him. That is him right there. Of course, behind the tree, I'm surprised it didn't come to an end right there. Looks like we're making a little bit of a left turn, heading back down towards LAX. You know, maybe he knows. Maybe he knows. Maybe he just wants to get back on the northbound so he can get closer to us. Maybe. We'll see. Let's see what he does here. Is he getting back on the northbound? Yeah, he is. He's getting him northbound, Jeff. Um, but uh, taking a look, you're making, a, making that turn right there. If anybody's a stringer out here in the Los Angeles area, that's where a lot of stringers hang out, right there in Manchester and the 110 freeway. That is a, is a place where they all hang out. Oh, dip, 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 dip. What are you doing there, buddy? Yep, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Los Angeles. All right, uh, kind of blending is blending into the traffic, keeping it on, uh, getting into the carpool lane. That's a pretty big find. That's actually the fast track out there. Trust me, if you guys uh, get into the fast track lane and you get a ticket, pay it, pay it, because they'll hit you up for like five bucks or something around there. And then if you don't pay it, it's going to turn into two hundred or three hundred bucks. And when you go register your car, you're going to be like. Why is my registration like $1,000? Take a look at those numbers, though. That uh, Audi picking up it well into the triple digits right now, and I'm not talking about the heat. I'm talking about the drive. Uh, just dropped the uh, – it's just staying there. It's just staying there. Now we're making our way uh, southbound on the uh, 110 freeway, coming back out to the 105. Not sure where this person wants to go, but uh, wherever it is, they're, they're in control right now, and we're just going to follow along. A again, if you're just joining us and you're wondering what is this all about, that vehicle right there was involved in a felony stop in the Orange County area. When that felony stop happened, the driver got out, was you know complying to the commands of the officers. The driver out in cuffs somewhere. The passenger got inside that vehicle, got switched sides, clearly. You don't drive from the passenger seat. And if he is, that's pretty amazing. I understand it's a she, actually, too. I heard that somewhere that the, it was, uh, I heard the uh, pronoun she. Uh, at any rate, um, got out and then uh, took, it, took over the car. And the pursuit was on, mostly on the freeways. Uh, you can see it right there. We're making our way back onto that westbound uh, 105. And, uh, again, this is going to be one of those interesting ones. You're making your way out to LAX, if you think, you can go to LAX and park the car and blend into the in uh, that that you know give it a shot. We're not going to be able to watch you, but uh, I can guarantee you you will be watched. You know, go to a place like uh, an airport, like an international airport. They've got cameras everywhere. Trust me, brother. So uh, you know they'll they'll and they have their own law enforcement over there. And uh, believe me, a chase probably something something they want to do. 
So we're going to keep an eye on it again. We're making our way out towards uh, the Hawthorne area right now. It says Inglewood, but I'm telling you, Hawthorne is the area. Whoop, doop, 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 we're going to go. Oh, oh, stuck. Anyways. Well, keeping an eye on it, that's for sure. I'm going to grab a drink of uh, I black iced tea lemonade, and we're just going to just have a moment of silence here while we watch the car in traffic. All right, back with you once again. <clears throat> Continuing on, we're going to be going by Hawthorne Airport here in just a few moments. I, you know what? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, maybe get on Crenshaw. Hopefully, they'll go south on Crenshaw. That'll be, that'll be the one to do. Uh, <laughs> I like that guy. He's like, "What are you doing?" And getting into the carpool lane. There you go. You know who knows? Who knows? Maybe the maybe the passengers got a flight to catch. You know, you got to get to TSA two three hours early. You know who knows. But what I can tell you, though, is at least the speeds are a little bit slower. Uh, still an accident at 60 miles an hour. It's still not going to be some. It's not going to be good. Hopefully, everybody's going to be okay. But uh, you know, erratic driving—that seems to be uh, the staple of this uh, of this pursuit. Somebody might be asking, Stu, why why is there nobody behind it? Why is there no law enforcement behind it? Well. Now, one big reason would be uh, because of the speeds, uh, because of how dangerous it is, because of the traffic, because they can't get there. Uh, that uh, CHP motorcycle, God bless him, he tried to keep up as long as he could. He was doing a great job, but you know he wasn't going to be able to pull, pull this guy over. Uh, but uh, now in, in heavy traffic, this is on the 105 freeway, making our way westbound out towards LAX. I have a feeling Crenshaw is going to be the next off-ramp, but, uh, oh, yeah, it says so right there, Stu. Uh, but uh, I'm not looking at that. Just letting you guys know, I, I, I have to actually look at that monitor. My monitor has no information on it at all. I got a little crosshair. That's all I got. So, at any rate, uh, maybe, pr probably not. I would have ventured to say if he was going to, yeah, not, not taking Crenshaw. So, not sure where we're going to wind up. We're going to go as far as we can. We're going to stay with it the best we can and uh, see where this all goes. But, again, 105 freeway westbound and uh, slow and go in traffic. You know, it, these are difficult for law enforcement as well. There is, a, you know, a lot of the uh, law enforcement in the aircraft, they want their brethren down there on the ground. They want to bring this thing to an end. They they, they are calling out this stuff, not, not just for their own health they want to they want everybody to know their you know their, their their guys and gals on the ground where this is what's going on how's it happening um but uh hang on I, <laughs> but at any rate uh yeah, they want they want this thing to come to an end. So they're probably making some phone calls. Look at this guy. He's like, I can go faster than you. I can go faster than you. I got a BMW. You just have an Audi. Yeah, that's LA for you right there. That really that that that, that summed it up. That summed it up. <clears throat> All right. Well, it's continuing on. Speeds are 75, 80 miles an hour. We're going to continue. You know, the 105 comes to an end, if you guys don't know. Uh, Imperial Highway is what it turns into. It dumps in onto, the free, onto, the, uh, onto the ocean. Well, not into the ocean. You know, you know what I mean. It goes to the beach, basically. So uh, maybe that's the plan, but uh, I don't know why. I just don't, you know, you, you'd kind of think that somebody that's driving this erratically at these speeds that continues in a general direction would have... a you know, a destination in mind. Uh, sadly, we can't hear their uh, their GPS or, uh, or their talking to them, you know. Stay in the center lane, you know. But uh, it's just interesting to, to see other people passing a vehicle that is in pursuit. Just, it, I, I, so I'm starting to wonder, are we looking at the right car? I think we are. At any rate, it's continuing on. Oh, the Mustang's not going to let that guy pass him. No, no, no. No, no, no. 
Up center lane's not really good. If he makes his way over to the right, I'm going to really start getting worried because we're probably passed over the 405 already, so we're definitely going to be in the LAX area right now. And uh, it is uh, keeping on, keeping on. And I'm getting uh, news that uh, Moy says we're live on our Facebook group as well, which is awesome. And uh, <clears throat> just checking my text right now because you, I can't read. I can't read any of your uh, your messages. It's 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 sad. It's very sad. I'm sad. You don't want me sad. Nobody wants me sad. I don't want to be sad. Yeah. And I don't have enough internet right now to to follow along. It's sad. It's just more sad. Oh, now I have to watch a commercial. Join this back in a minute or two. All right, he's hanging on that right. You see that Sepulveda Boulevard? I think that's probably what he's going to wind up taking. I don't want him to take it. Please don't take it. And if you do take it, go south. Please go south. Please, please go th south. Please. All right, all right, all right. I, you know what, maybe maybe it's everybody watching right there going, no, no, don't get off on Sepulveda, don't get off on Sepulveda. You know, it, it, it's all of our positive vibes keeping it on the 105. You see, now it's turning into the one. Maybe we're going to pick up Pacific Coast Highway here in a minute or two. So at any rate, uh, I, I, I want to I want to see the pursuit. I want to see if a... Uh, who's Clark? Did somebody just call me a joker? My goodness, you guys. This is a tough room, guys. What do you want me to do? You want me to be more golf? You know, you, you, you don't like the way I report? Should I just be like, yes, now he's in the middle lane. He's keeping those speeds about 62 miles an hour, so he's just a little bit below the speed limit. But uh, he's continuing on on the westbound uh, 105 freeway. We're going to be exiting here at Imperial Highway in just a moment. I don't see any blinkers on, so he's not indicating where he might want to go. Just continuing on, on the, uh, now we are technically, are we technically on Imperial Highway now? I wonder. Okay, anyways, man, I, I, I just can't. I just can't. Uh, look at that, southbound, southbound. I like it, I like it, I like it. I don't like the slowness. I don't like the U-turn. I don't like that either. All right. Coming back the other way, picking up those speeds once again. Who knows? Who knows where this guy is going? Continue. You know what? Let's take advantage of it. Let's see what we can see inside. I heard it. With, you know, I heard him say female. Uh, somebody's probably like, "Hey, Stu, why don't you get a better focus?" Well, you know what that is. That that's all I got, brother, or sister. I don't know who's who's complaining. Anyway, I saw them drinking something too. Maybe they got got a little cotton mouth also. Maybe they maybe they got their own feed going on. Maybe they are doing like a Facebook live. I love you all too. I just looked down and said somebody said uh, you know that they love us. You know what? It, it is what it is. We don't want to see anybody get hurt. There's no doubt about that. But you know, following the chase is following the chase. What can we do, right? What? Where? where? Where are we live? Oh, we're on television now. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tighten up the necktie and uh, and bring it and and bring it down a notch or two. If you guys, if we are really on live now uh, on Fox on the digital, uh, this is a pursuit of a of that vehicle. It's an Audi. This is all pretty interesting. This started out as a felony stop in the Orange County area. Uh, the driver in custody. The driver got out in cuffs. They, they took him into custody. It was all taken care of. It was all done. The passenger. Uh, apparently, I don't know, slid across, you know, I know details matter, but got out of the vehicle somehow or, or got into that driver's seat and it took off and it's been a pursuit ever since. Been on a lot of the uh, freeways uh, out here, staying a little bit wide because I don't know where they went and that upsets me. Going a little bit wider just in case they turned, don't know where he went, don't know where he went and I don't think we can go any closer. Where did he go? Maybe he's in, underneath the car, in, underneath the overpass catching his breath uh, let me see Jeff do you have me on 
Can't go any farther. Is it? He's siding under the underpass. Okay, so we do have confirmation right now that he's hiding under the underpass. Now, this is one of those things where, well, on the 405, I didn't see him get on the 405. I didn't see anybody leave. I didn't see anybody leave. All right, so now we're trying to figure out, uh, you guys watched it. I don't know if anybody was like, yeah, we did see him leave, Stu. I didn't see him leave. Saw him get underneath that underpass, and then that's where it came to a stop. Everybody else is kind of hanging. Eastbound Imperial, okay, eastbound Imperial. Uh, let's see if we can find him. Did they say where on eastbound on Piero? From the 405. Eastbound Imperial from the 405, so that means it must be like somewhere right in here. Is that him? North 405. North 405 from the 105. Are they just shouting out things? You know what, if he's north on the 405, do you want to just do the transition and get on the other side? What happened? He's in a carpool lane. Okay, that helps. If you see him do something, or if you're hearing something, let me know. That's the skid, by the way. All right, so what's happening right now is we have to wait till we can uh, cross the uh, cross the runways. We're going to try to pick it up on the other side. I'm trying to get an idea where this thing is. Okay, but we I appreciate that. We're just crossing LAX now. You first. Okay, copy. Then why is everybody going north if you're say, saying that he's at Florence? He's right here.
Yeah, I, I, I figured that out. Thank you. Let's see. All right, so that's Florence. All right, I got the shadow. You saw the shadow right there. I don't think that's him. That's a Mercedes. Or maybe that is him. Is that him? Okay. Yeah, that's where I'm looking. I don't think that's him. Where, 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 where? Oh my gosh. All right. Hey, Jeff. Where's the uh, sheriff ship? Right out my window? 12 o'clock, okay, so you th so he's still this way. All right. Howard Hughes, Howard Hughes is out my door. Jeff says it's the sheriff ship's 12 o'clock. All right, I gotta find this guy. Hey, Jeff, just, I just need to find the sheriff ship. <laughs> All right, yeah, I just heard it's uh, on flight radar is north of the 90. Yeah, so I, I don't know what, There he is, got him. Okay, got it, thank you. All right, so this is where he is. So that means, is that her? Was that her the whole time? 
Maybe we did have it earlier on. Wow. Rusty. I have a feeling that's it. Do you think that's it? Anybody? Anybody? I mean, how many white Audi SUVs are there? You think so? Do you, you think that's it? I think that's just an Audi driver. You know what? I have a feeling they're watching our feed. Because they were driving all normal till we got them, and then all of a sudden they started driving crazy. They were just waiting for us to catch up to them. Hey, you know what? If you're watching right now, just wave out the window. Put the window down. Just roll down the window a little bit. Oh, that's... That was ugly. <clears throat> there we go. Hey, Melissa. Melissa, if you're out there, the, the reason why I keep the map up is so I can be able to read off ramps and things like that. Hey, California Irish Patrol, you know that guy was just like, really? Really? Why can't I chase you? Which also kind of brings me up to another question that I need to talk to my pilot, Jeff, about. We've been flying for a few minutes. <laughs> but just in case you guys didn't know, we were on another pursuit that was up in uh, Victorville. And again, that was one of the ones that if you don't know where, you know, if you don't know L.A., then I'm just throwing out names. We were up in Victorville. And uh, so we've been flying for quite, quite some time. Uh, I'm happy to, oh really, let me bring up the IFB. Uh, hey Michelle, yes I do. Uh, I don't know, I'm not, I don't talk on their air. Uh, nope, and I don't think you will. I still think we should do something with it, but you know, but we're only going to be here for about another 15 minutes, and then we got to go in for fuel. Copy all. All right, cool. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I've driven Sepulveda. I know what it's like. No, nope, no, nope, I wouldn't do that. I don't know why the, the, that Fox Live Now thing is always trouble for me. Does Stu have an Instagram? Yes, I do. It's Stu underscore Mundell, M-U-N-D-E-L. Oh, get out of the way. Jeez, oh, Pete. <clears throat> ah, don't do that. Oh, we got a TFR on top of it? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is painful. I spent all this time trying to find it. Ah. I used all my health and hit points. Uh, so if you guys are still with me, which I don't blame you if you aren't, um, this is the deal. We, uh, we have a TFR. Our vice president lives out here. Our vice president is in town. I saw him. I don't know where they're going to. Oh, my gosh. Are we playing this game again? Yeah, we are.
Eastbound Olympic. Are you sure is eastbound on Olympic? Because that. Oh my gosh. Northbound 405, that's what you heard? Eastbound what? Okay. Oh my gosh. Eastbound Santa Monica. <clears throat> what? Not right? What about the sheriffs? I'm looking too. Where'd the black and white go? Are you sure? That sounds like old information. Where'd you get that? North or south? Olympic and Sepulveda. North or south? Oh, these buildings. Southbound Sartell. That North of the tracks. Did he go past the tracks? And Sartell goes underneath the, I, I'm going to lose it. Yeah. Yep, there they are. There they are. There they are. There they are. All right. I, I can't see them because they're underneath the uh, freeway, but if they didn't make a turn, they're going to come out here. They should be here now. There they are. And I'll help you find
find uh, contact lenses, too, if you need me. <clears throat> and needles, especially if they're in haystacks, as long as they aren't those uh, drug needles. Yeah, just kind of work your way through there. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Everybody can wait. Yep, yep. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Okay, just getting through. And there we go. Uh, that's what I say. Oh, I, I don't have any internet. Da, 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 da. Look at that. Look at that. Hello, CHP. That must be so painful. <clears throat> Just want to scuff up that white paint job. Put some pit mar pit maneuver marks on that bumper. Jeff, do you have it just out of curiosity? Do you have it just out of curiosity? All right, made a west. Yep. Uh, on Venice. Also known as the 187. There we go. I'm gonna probably listen to some doors, open up that sunroof. Oh, of course, he's gonna stop under a tree. Let's see if I can't lose him this time. Oh, look at that. My sarcasm made the day. Bum 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 Um I don't know, I have to ask my pilot. How long do we have to land for fuel? Uh out of the out of the break maybe, but uh but it's gonna have to be quick. Because we're probably gonna go into Santa Monica, that right? That's our plan. Nah, uh, yeah, I think we need to at least hang out and get the termination of this. Look at that. Okay, thank you. Maybe they're running out of gas, too. Uh, what are we on? Washington. Going on Washington. Going to go down to Marina Del Rey. Up, oh, making a U-turn. Must have heard me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wise to you now. I'm wise to you now. Oh, what are we doing now? Oh, saw you can get behind a building, huh? Clever. You know that car's got GPS in there. Probably just looking at the GPS. Oh, gosh, Stu. There you go. <clears throat> any rate, if you guys are watching right now, believe me, I love the love. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out for as long as you did. Uh, we've had, we got so much up against us. We've been flying f literally for probably a little more than two hours. 
we're gonna have to get fuel. Uh, we got a live show also, and we're doing our thing, but uh, but yeah, we're gonna need to go in for fuel here shortly. And uh, you know, if I take my eyes off of this, you know, I'm gonna lose it. So, all right, gonna go into Santa Monica. Yeah, we have to because we have, we gotta stay close because we're gonna we're gonna have to get this. I mean, wherever it ends, I mean, we got to get a picture at least of the car and a cop car, unless everybody loses it, which I don't think is going to happen. He's making a U-turn. I saw the brake lights. Yep. Let's see. Made another U-turn. Ha ha! Oh, you are clever. Ah, you are clever. Nope, coming back this way again. Made another U-turn. What? What are you doing? I'm telling you, they're watching us. They're watching us. Anyway, everybody, love the love. Thanks for watching as long as we did, uh, you, you know, and, and putting up with my not being able to find it and finding it and then not being able to find it and finding it. At any rate, uh, if you want to follow me, it's Stu, S-T-U, last name is Mundell, M-U-N-D-E-L, always love the love. If you got something funny to say, I'm always willing to read it. If you got something nasty to say, eh, maybe I'll read it, maybe I won't. Hey, look at the old speedster. Anyways, uh, I'm waiting on Jeff. Jeff is going to make the decision here. We're going to pull the plug probably here in a moment or two. Going to go into Santa Monica for fuel. We'll try to get back up over it. But um, but if we can, we can, and if we can't, we can't. And, uh, and if you get, if you're if you're in that car watching us, watching you right now, we got to go for fuel. 